I'm sorry, did someone say plastic pitch? Hatters, hatters, what a great team. Let's show the others that we are the cream. Hatters, hatters, what a great team. Let's show the others that we are the cream. We're soccer crazy. If like me, you were born in the 1970s and brought up in the 1980s, Luton Town traditionally wear white. But if you were brought up in the 1970s, Luton Town traditionally wear orange. Since 1920, Luton Town had worn white. Before that, they'd worn sky and blue, and previous to that, they'd worn all manner of different colours. But in 1974, everything changed. Luton Town went from white to orange and changed their club crest and got promotion where they stayed for quite some time and in their heyday of the 1980s even won the Littlewoods Cup beating Arsenal 3-2 at Wembley. The following season in 1989 they lost Nottingham Forest keeping up a sequence of if you won the Littlewoods Cup then the following season you lost it. At this time, Luton Town were wearing white and a kit made by Adidas, a kit loved by both Luton fans and opposition fans. In 1991, Adidas had been replaced by Umbro. At the time, Adidas were making loads of Hacienda inspired shirts and Umbro weren't going to be left behind. So created this. The darker blue was replaced by a much lighter blue. Blue panels were put on the side of the shirt with an orange trim and blue flashes across the shirt. Unfortunately, this was 1991, the year before the Premier League started, and Luton were relegated. Never to see the Premier League at all. But if you're going to go down, you might as well go down in the maddest shirt in the club's history.